Welcome to the OSRS podcast, where we talk to RuneScape content creators about RuneScape. I am Mitt Cow, followed by the very dysfunctional man below. Hello, Rakes, as always. What's going on? And the final host, me, Ricecope. Hello. And today right. we have Mr. Verif. Recently, he just completed the biggest <laughs> challenge. <laughs> I got a message on Discord over that I forgot we were recording on Why there. would you open up your Discord <laughs> message? <laughs> just go, fuck it, just keep going, keep going. Hello, Verf. We got Verf. Hello. Hello. Wait, yo, wait, we, I, I haven't finished introducing, dude. Sorry, go ahead. It's fine, I'm the, I'm the jungle guy, we, we get it. Yeah, anyways, let me let me finish this, okay? So Mr. Verf completed his Karamjian Inferno series recently with his biggest challenge, which was to do the Inferno Cave with... An inventory that was you know, it's just that's it because he's an ultimate iron man locked in karamja so no bank he just did it with his inventory planned everything nice took years and years but he finally did it so yeah how do you feel bro champion of the year champion of the month how are you feeling i feel pretty free man i can just play the game again it feels like i'm max but i didn't max yeah. you didn't sound better than maxi all right anyone can max. yeah no uh, this feels better that when i max yes <laughs> Do you feel like that gorilla right there if you're Inferno? Kind of. He's, yeah. Good, man. You deserve <laughs> it, buddy. And uh, we were having a rough start getting this podcast going. So sorry. <laughs> I thought we were going to restart. I was sorry about that. Rakesy is recording here and uh, it's her it's her fifth Dude, attempt. We, we... <laughs> when was the last time I recorded? Probably like uh, it's a little, four little months little ago, thing. man. It's a long time back. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just awesome. see messages on Discord and I just click. <laughs> Let, uh, let us know if you guys are excited to have the podcast back. Uh, we don't know where we were. Uh, I don't know where I was, but we're here with Verf. We were all soul searching. Yes. Can we so. get 300 likes? Yes, for Verf's cape. Come on, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get into the likes. behind the scenes of right. of his journey. And you have, if you haven't watched the series, seriously, we'll link it down below. It's um probably better than most of our series. I mean, I don't yeah. I don't know many people who can get. More unique than most of our series, that's for the sure. Karumja Ultimate Iron Man Inferno Cave. That's, yeah. oh my God. That's like a Starbucks order, trying to say that out loud. It's crazy. Um. So yeah, we're going to start with some questions for Verf. Yeah, you I guys go. Right. I got a bunch. I'm down. So he just finished his cape. What was it, about 5,000 live viewers on Twitch, I believe? Yeah, 4,500, 4, I think we'll speak. God, that's Were nuts, you man. nervous? Were you nervous, man? Were you reading chat at all during the Inferno? Yeah, actually, I was just sitting back because it was pre-recorded. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 it wasn't live. I did it in the afternoon, actually. No. Oh! It was live in the wow. sense that it was the same day. It was the same dude, day. you're one of those. Oh, no, no, I, I, I wanted, dude, I, I spent weeks clearing the waves. I finally got to Zuck. I needed all concentration. Like, I... I didn't want to deal with that life. I'm very yeah, like when, be... I did my first, when I did my first Inferno, I failed many, many attempts because of the pressure from stream. And when I did my only attempt off stream on my main, I got a first try. I mean, I really didn't want to deal with that. So to be honest, yeah. Now to be fair, exact did it off stream too. Exactly, yeah, exactly the exact same thing for his body combat. <laughs> exactly. okay, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, but, um... it, it looks like it's live. So it really... oh, dude, I yeah, thought it was it, live. It was I thought it was complete. Man, I like yeah, exactly. rated you. I raided you when you were on the wall. I was like, shit, I hope he doesn't read that out and die or something. <laughs> like, I'm glad it, that it, it wasn't, it, yeah. Yeah. So Dude, that's why I wanted to ask. Were Yo, you nervous? Died. Apparently it was pre recorded oh, and um which is still pretty sick. Uh I would have I mean, probably been able to figure that out, but I was live streaming at the time and people were just updating me on your cape. Oh, really? So I yeah. was like, that's how I was learning. I was like, people oh my God, gonna do it. It's yeah, caught it's... in the uh, in the in the action. I mean, just pretend it. it was live. I just didn't have to deal with the pressure because I still had to do it. Like it, there was still a lot of pressure. And I was fucking. I was nervous. Like you could see this. You could see the shakes like in my click sometimes. So it really didn't matter. I was nervous regardless. So <laughs> dude, I think so, you're like uh, the first person ever to throw one of those obsidian hoops at Zuck. I was like, what? Tasar frisbees. Like, beast. The the what? frisbees. Oh, is that, is that frisbees. Oh yeah, the oh, frisbee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, true that. Obsidian Dude. frisbee. It's yeah, funny. Obsidian I actually frisbee. typed in the chat. I was like, "This man's playing frisbee with Zuck," but no, <laughs> nobody, nobody kicked W there, man. That's a bit sad. I think I saw that actually. <laughs> yeah, I was watching. I was just like, "Jesus fucking Christ, man!" So wait, yeah, was this was this your 
Was this your very first attempt at Zuck on that account? On the real account, yes. Wow. Damn, dude. Did, that's impressive. I did, do, I did do, like, three... Because, like, once I cleared the waves, I actually did, like, a week extra of practicing on my main. Just doing, like, doing Zucks with the setup. Uh, and I did complete it in the practice before, but uh, it's obviously different because there's no pressure and I can just do as many attempts as I want, but... Yo, I by the way, man, there. I don't mean to alarm you. Is that is that like a massive vapor smoke that's coming out behind you? What is that? I, uh, it's a it's a yeah. uh, humidifier. Uh, ah, don't, okay. Don't, don't worry, my house is not on fire. Ooh. It's fine. Could you imagine? <laughs> That'd be so bad. That would be oh. terrifying, man. Fuck. Yeah, All right, be, well, I'm glad we cleared that up. Hey, hey, thought, hey, we make some good clickbait. I had a few people mention it today, actually. Really? Oh, well, I, wow. dude, I, I saw it. I thought, I thought maybe it was like a bloody, like some gas or some shit. I was like, what the fuck uh, is that? Right. Yeah, it's just a humidifier. So, so talk us through how the experience went when you were you were effectively sat there watching, you know, your own live stream and just reading <laughs> yeah. the chat. I imagine. So, how how was that? Uh, how was the experience? I didn't like. I told my girlfriend before I went live. I was like. She, like how many viewers you like to expect right and i thought i was i would get like two thousand viewers but it was way, way crazy than i ex like expected basically the chat was going so fast i couldn't like i couldn't even read anything like it was just spamming <laughs> it was crazy like, i've awesome. never had that many views before so that's what, a was, new experience. was it like exciting like to see the chat's reaction like the lower the health got well the thing is Chad didn't know I completed it at that point, right? And I knew I would be fine. Like, I, that's a nice thing. I was just kind of relaxing. But, <laughs> like, watching my thing back, I was actually getting, a, like, at some point, I was actually, like, feeling the nerves again, you know? <laughs> and, oh, like, damn. Like, and, and people uh, told me later that a lot of people were, like, like, super nervous watching it because it was actually so close in the end and there were a lot of close moments, which also never happened in the practice. So it, it was way too close. Like... Too many close like moments in the Man, actual talk. So, you, please tell so, me you typed you typed in your own chat at some point saying like I, I got this guys. Did oh, you? Oh no, no, no. What I did oh. was <laughs> on the on the uh on the wall part where you, where I was walking for run energy, like walking back and forth, I type I typed pass jump in the chat. <laughs> That's the only thing I typed. And the app was like fast jumping, it was pretty funny. Uh, but I did it on the spoiled, you know. So Yeah, yeah, of course, because they you want you want it to be like you know, alive. Crazy. You know, you wanted them to feel like it was alive. If, yeah, if yeah. you would have died, would you have still like put up the attempt, dude? Honestly, like I was actually, <laughs> I, was actually I feel like it'd still be pretty about, good. Like the thing is, like in terms of like viewers, it would be crazy, but the disappointment would be also crazy, it would right? Be immeasurable. The, the, the huge build up, and then I just fucking die, and it's like. Yeah. Mm. Um, oh, people be like, you see how close he got? Like, Yo, that, it would yeah. still be pretty hard, man. Yeah, double like, viewers on the next one. So, <laughs> for the viewers and like you guys and everything, it's like, yeah, you can just do that. But for me, like, f I did wave attempts right before I did the actual Zuck, and I died on stream, and it, it's the worst feeling. Like, I absolutely hated it. Like, it like increased my stress levels actually as well. It was horrible. And you try so PvP. I <laughs> 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 true true Doesn't get better. Yeah. but like at some point i I decided to uh <laughs> not stream a few attempts anymore because i was just kind of it it's so it was really tedious like a lot of waiting and uh it, like the waves took 10 hours per attempt roughly wow so dying after 10 hours because of one tiny mistake it, it was just really frustrating yeah i can um, imagine man so i can't imagine what, what i would like, I would really not be happy if I failed that Zuck. So I'm extremely happy and kind of lucky in a way as well that I did it in one attempt because I definitely made a few mistakes because I was so nervous. Yeah. So, yeah. Not luck. 100% <laughs> skill, man. I, I don't know if you could really do that. At least patience-wise. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude. It's uh, How many hours of sleep did you average during these I mean, uh, past months? The thing is, before like, I slept quite a bit, but I... Like I was really close to burning out from doing Inferno actually because I was just so tired of it. The waves attempts were just really tedious. But I mean, I practiced for four months or something. So basically, when Trailblazer came out, I started practicing for the Kremlin Cape and Trailblazer, and ever since until like this week, 
I did Inferno. That's all I did. So, yeah, I was kind of tired of Inferno, so I was really happy to finish. I bet, man. Man, you did I it for bet. four months, so I, I don't blame you. Oh, uh, yeah, basically, a long time. four months of, like, the specific <laughs> practice required for the cape. Hey, so now you're a beast at Inferno. <laughs> yeah, definitely improved quite a bit. So, how many hours have you clocked on that account? Because there was a point in your series, right, where you you died and lost all of your items. Yeah. So Last how year, how many uh, hours have you played that account for, or how many years? I started three years ago, actually, oh like a little over three years ago. Like, like it was it was March two thousand and eighteen. I'm pretty sure it was the first episode. So that's like three years ago to now. Um, I can check the hours, but the last time I checked it, it was like. 6600 hours i'm pretty sure it's over 7000 probably between 7000 and 7500 but do you, do you know how many are... days that is roughly i mean i can do the math for you real quick and just What's buy that by 20 hours right yeah let's well, do like, do, let me do the math for um, you boys there's like the <laughs> account management section on the on your account panel right so soon i think maybe this month they're going to make it so you can check the total play hours uh, and I'm going can, to wait for that. Can you Hans or Bob? Well, Wait, is it Bob? I was or... going to. Yes, Hans, you're I, right. I was going to, but I didn't really feel like teleporting to Lumbridge in front of, in front of 4,000 people on this account. <laughs> so I, I ended up not doing it. On yeah, yeah, it would, it would be kind of, <clears throat> But yeah. 312 I mean, it, days. I it was roughly 7,000 or something. Like, yeah, 312 that. days. And it wasn't just know. like normally playing. Those hours and days were monstrosa grinds right <laughs> it wasn't like, oh, oh yeah, i'm no. doing slayer new slayer boss now no it's like oh i'm gonna mine this for 20 yeah, hours pretty slow grinds oh. yeah okay so here's another question then how much how much did you think streaming helps you because you know as as we know a lot of people are like mystified by the fact that we can do all these crazy uh, long grinds and stuff you know what I mean? I mean but, but a lot of us realize it a lot a lot of it is is because we can stream it and make it you know a lot easier on ourselves so how much did it help you i mean it, I, I agree with that honestly because well i mean the, the reason i started streaming years ago is was because to make the grinds easier for myself because i made videos and while collecting the footage for the videos i thought if i stream it makes playing the game more fun because i i always have something to do right and um, some of the hardest grinds I streamed completely. Like I, I, I literally streamed the the hunter grind, for example, where I caught Grax for like 400 hours. I, I streamed like almost every single hour of that, just mm -hmm. doing that, which is, <laughs> I don't know why people watch that, but it was really helping me to get through that. So RuneScape yeah. has oh, weird viewers, viewers, man. People viewers. watch a lot of weird things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. People told me like later on that it was really relaxing. I just put like chill music on. I was just going through my grind day day by day, right? And people just tuned in and then relax, you know. Yeah, they were just um, in the jungle, you know. I think they're addicted to like progress. And when somebody yeah. makes such unique. is weird the right word? Yeah, unique progress, right? Uh, they they just and gotta watch. They that was a pretty big. Watch build up as well like after the goal i was able to catch luckyms which everyone's really excited for including myself that's why i was so motivated for that grind actually uh which definitely helped as well but i definitely agree with streaming like streaming and making content helps playing accounts like these because you kind of make the content for the viewers too not just for yourself which is a nice like motivation boost yeah i think so I, that I agree the best that. part of the grind the the end part well, I mean, that I I streamed pretty much all of the grinds. Uh, be, but did you have like it, a favorite moment? Uh, what were some of your crossbow? tops? I guess top grinds. Um, well, the favorite moment is probably getting the rune crossbow for the first time because everyone told me like, "Oh, you're never gonna get that crossbow. It's impossible." And then I got the crossbow, and it's like, "Holy shit! You actually got the crossbow!" <laughs> that was pretty <laughs> funny. That what was, was the funny. What was the drop chance of getting that crossbow? By the way, uh, one in one hundred and sixty-six, I believe. Oh, that's so. that's not that's not that's not too bad. How much were you paying people for the imps? <laughs> Five mil each. Oh, how, how many did it take? Too bad. Uh, I got, I got a total of six hundred and twenty-one imps, but I didn't pay for all the imps. Hey. People gave me a lot of free imps and oh, stuff as well. But did you say it wasn't that bad? How I, 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 dude, one hundred and twenty. 
122 is not that bad. There could have been like an item that was like one in a thousand. I've seen like one in sixteen k. Six lucky imps in my whole life. All right. Yeah, and no, I'm not I agree. They're, they're very rare. But this man had the whole of Karamja hunting them for him. So you know, <laughs> I'd say yeah, a, a I, one in one hundred and sixty drop chance is not bad. Can, like, what was it? Settled was trying to get from his. Was yeah, it the same was thing? Also. It was the same yeah, thing. Yeah. But I also needed another like three items. It wasn't just a crossbow for me because I also needed full black dehyde and uh, zami wines for range pots. Um, mm. but the thing is, like, I kind of developed like methods to hunt the imps efficiently, and had like I used uh, back then I used to play on like four accounts, and all of those four accounts were in Karamja hopping worlds looking for imps as well. So like I had a lot of people helping me and just streaming it helped a lot. I had people call it call imps for me because I mean I obviously paid them. So I was getting like five to ten imps like at peak, like at peak time when I first started catching imps. I think I was getting like five or ten a day. So that's not too bad. It's not like peak yeah. that's a ton, but still that's the peak. I mean, oh right, my god, yeah. what a grind. I think the max I've had in a day was like nine or ten. So holy usually holy. like five. So. <laughs> It's not yeah, how much money it's... did you uh, did you pay out? Do you remember? Uh, I think I spent around one point five bill. Yeah, you know, oh, I think I gave you like twenty. I think I gave you like twenty five mil or Yo, something. Yo, you just dropped him <laughs> in yeah. Mad Cow's bank on a rune crossbow, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you drop a new series on a crossbow. Yeah. Wait, like, hold up! Wait, 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 wait! Sorry, I'm trying. Sorry, I'm trying to. Still, dragons drop runeite limbs, but where'd you get the flax on Karamja? There's nowhere, is there? Or a bow he's got a full bow, dude. What do you mean? He got a full bow. You, you, the imps wait, wait, hold up. You talk about rune limbs and flex, my guy. But yeah. you get the whole crossbow. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I know, I know. I'm just you're like, I'm always, I'm always thinking like, is there an alternative listen, listen. way to get this item? You oh, you're flex. saying, oh, yeah. he's you saying what? It, what's the alternative? If there yeah, there was. This man would have done. a random event, but you're not gonna do anything with flex and rune limbs because you need, you need a crossbow string. Yeah. So there's not anywhere to spin that fucker. There's no other way. There's no cows right. on Karamja, is there? You can't add... No, yeah, you're right. there's, no, there's no way to get meat, and there's also no way to get a, a U-lock for the mm. stock. So. Damn, no, dude. Dude, fun fact, not a single U-tree in freaking Karamja, bro. Bring oh, that into the game, dragon. <laughs> yep, so apparently... I, I really people, like the implant grind, so... A lot it's, of people yeah. are enjoying these... Um, Iron Man that are locked into certain regions. Do you think Jag? And this is a question for everybody. Do you think Jagex will ever actually make accounts that are specifically locked? Wasn't that uh, the idea behind Trailblazers? Yeah, mean, like maybe, maybe after maybe after the group Iron Man and stuff, because then you know they need another mode, right? At some I, point, I, I, hope, they don't. <laughs> I uh, hope they don't. To be honest, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I wouldn't want to play it too much because it's like I would like a high scores for like locked accounts so you guys could compete. I feel like that may make it a little more fun. Right? Well, the thing is, they, they shouldn't do any more locked modes unless, until they they fix their shit with their current modes. You know, oh, no, you're 100. They got a lot to fix, but yeah, a man yeah. can dream, right? A man can dream. They gotta like, they gotta deal with the it, current problems. It's kind of like deal. cool that modes. like. At least most locked accounts I know, like they people have this close like friend group that do the same type of accounts, right? But there's really no like competition, competition type of deal. Yeah. Everyone is yeah. kind of just doing their own thing and just enjoying the like self-made <laughs> mode, basically. That's yeah. always how outside as well. To yeah, be it's honest, a very so. sandboxy game, so you can just do whatever. Like if yeah. they make a high score, I could care less. <laughs> Oh, it is. Yeah, it yeah. Is. I think it's too deep for her. Dude, there's like... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't I don't There'll be like a, a wall five Kremlin locked accounts. That's it. <laughs> I yeah. don't know. What do you say, man? No, it's not like a game mode, because that's what League was. And people ate that up. I mean, yeah, yeah, they make another one. Uh, yeah. They love the high scores. They love getting their little pets, the little box. I think they should add those uh, those boxes that pop up every time you do something nice. They should add those regular RuneScape. Oh, they, they are. They feel really good. Are yeah, they? They, they? are. They are. Yeah. Yeah. When did they say that? I must have missed uh, it's it. On Twitter. Yeah, it's it's on for Twitter. like a collection look, right? Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're out already or no? No. No, we're no, okay. Progress. I was going to say. Okay. Yeah, work in progress. Good. I think those are flippy. My flippy. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead.
Um, yeah, I've had a couple of questions. People ask me this in the stream. Um, so since I did Zuck in one attempt, I have a lot of bolts left, which means I will be trying to do six jets on the account as like a bonus type, type of thing. No. Uh, I, I, oh, I did it on my main relatively fast. So I think I can pull it off with the bolts I have, but it's not something like I'm going to rush. Like it's something I will do, but uh, it's not going to be like this week type, type of deal. But yeah, that's something I want to do. And maybe I'm thinking about maybe doing like a stream. Some Like maybe people can spend an X amount of points in the stream and I will play the account for an hour and the stream can choose what I do to kind of not like have the account die off completely. Maybe, but I mean, yeah, yeah, but, yeah okay, Something like that. be some high points. But in terms of like like YouTube series, it's considered finished, if that makes sense. So, right, right. <laughs> oh my god! Could you imagine? Could it you better imagine? be in the desert, though. Raid six in Kremja, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna ruin the account. So if they release new content, then I'm. Uh, like down to discover it on the account, but I don't see it happening anytime soon. Yeah. Sweet. So, still. By the way, I just uh, I just made a proper pog chat moment. I was muted when I asked that question, <laughs> so you can hear me, but the fucking OBS can't. But you answered it perfectly. I I asked uh, what the plans were for the account. Now that yeah. it's completed, so that leads me on to my next, and I guess well, probably not my final, but the next question to come is um, what's next for you, Verf? What's your, what's your plan? What are you doing next? What are you moving on to? What are you thinking? I've, I've also had that question a fair bit. And I mean, I'm just free, Karumja, Iron Man, dude. <laughs> I mean, I'm just doing my own thing. Like, I'm always kind of just doing my own thing. Like, I have three accounts I can play on right now. <laughs> so I just continue with my other series I had running. And I just have, like, what a, are they? Uh, the one defense account, the free to play account that I made recently, and the PvP account. PvP locked, hardcore, free to play ultimate, and one defense hardcore. <laughs> okay, is your hard <laughs> is your PvP hardcore still alive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it must just be because I've not seen a video from you in a while. I wasn't sure yeah, if it died. I'm... I was thinking about that earlier. So the thing about that account is, like, I kind of I'm not playing it too much right now because I really want to get back into streaming again a lot because I I have the ability again. And if I play the PvP account, I mean, I can stream it. So. It's like I kind of just switch up the accounts that I play on. Dude, all these accounts, I mean, you must be really good at taking in pain because <laughs> one of those, even one of those series would just make me want to tear my hair out, bro. I, I... <laughs> I bet, dude, I bet you it is going to feel nice to play the game again, just however yeah, you want. Yeah, yeah. There must it be so amazing. much content that you miss, like just being able to go into a chambers or go into a TOB yeah. just for the shits I mean, and gigs. I was uh, doing chambers with Rice Cup last weekend i think it was yeah last weekend right and i i don't know i have not done it in ages but i used to do all that stuff back like when well, i say back in the day but before like the whole inferno thing right and then i had to do all that inferno shit but now i can just just do whatever i want again and it's great like i'm having a lot of fun streaming again just chilling just not worrying so much about the grind i'm doing right just do, do you know what that's game. just that's just giving me a genius idea by the way for mm. everybody watching this video in the YouTube comments, if you would like myself, Sensei Re, and Verf to carry Mint Mad Cow and get him a TOB KC, <laughs> let us know. And we're uploading his bonus <laughs> footage. That'd be fucking I hilarious. Be added into that. Dude, that could just be like <laughs> yeah, a, it, could, it could be like a podcast on wheels <laughs> where we're just doing TOB <laughs> chat and shit and just getting him a KC. And it'd be it'd yeah, be great. Man. I would love to do that. I think that'd be fun as hell, man. I'm yeah, yeah. Let's just say I've been water. popping a lot, I, like, so I know. Mint, Mint is thinking like I didn't ask for TOB KC. What do you mean? <laughs> I played. Um, I did TOB with Rice on release, and we made it to like no, the was... one where the insects were there, and they popped. <laughs> and I just, I'm like, I gotta go to bed, bro. I can't do this. <laughs> this is too much, man. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I like the bad guy. Yo, Mint, that'd be a good video for you, dude. You know. I would you you should get what happens make... when I don't succeed. I mean, no, you will make a lot of when you succeed. Dude, you but... include the fails. That's yeah. all part yeah, that's of the, the funny part. part. Fails. No, you can. We're gonna get the completion. Though. But hey, are you sure? For the YouTubers yeah, yeah. watching this right now, if you would like to see that, let us know down in the comments. We'll make it happen. Yeah, we I'm do used that. to taking we a longer. Do that. 
That would be a fun so, podcast, man. We could just upload like the yeah. full thing from start to finish. And we well, could just well, man, I, I, I would guarantee that it would only take maybe at most two tries to get a completion with you. Oh, so. yeah, I think you should too. Well, so, like, it would be an easy video for you. Verf, do you have a scythe? Do you have max gear? <laughs> no. Oh, God. You know, he has the money. Maybe two tries. I can buy a scythe, I guess, because I want yes. like, to build, it. so. Remember, I'm a from scratch series right now, so I'm gonna be having some real trash gear. <laughs> oh, okay. Yo, you can do it with your trash gear, like a whip. <laughs> oh, you know, just bring yeah. a normal whip. You know. Oh, when you get the to the point where you can afford a whip and a blowpipe and a trident, you're good. That that's yeah. like pretty much you'll be ready. Be fine. I'll rush that real quick. If people want to watch, I'd be down. Oh, I just don't want people to get their hopes up because they should. Yeah. Nah, it'll be it'll be fast content, dude. It's it won't take too long. That's that's the thing that I uh, I would guarantee. All right. All right. I think if we were to actually do that, we should have Mint Mad Cow's like copy of it. He should be the one that records so we can see what he does in the clips. I think yeah, it'd yeah, be quality. Yeah, of course. It, yeah, of it's, course. it's gonna be his video, you know, pretty much. It's perspective. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, down. I'm down. I gotta record next anyway, so <laughs> Oh so, wait, it'd be in a podcast version? Well, I was just saying we could upload it onto the podcast and just be like, "Oh hey, yeah, 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 that'd video. be a good way for me to promote the podcast." <laughs> I guess. No, no, no. Like... I'm saying, I'm saying, upload it onto the podcast channel if he wants. He can upload oh. it onto his obviously. As yeah, well. yeah. I'm saying like it would it be a good video for him, like on his channel too, just because yeah. he can do the edited stuff, you know, the Definitely. edited version. And we could just have yeah. like the full and uncut the version on here, where well, it's I mean, just it's us talking about a topic and doing it at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I think it'd be fun. Yeah, it'd so, be hilarious. Yeah. To summarize, right. Verf, you don't have you, you don't have a grand big series to move on to, but you're gonna go on to the other series that you've been doing for the last yeah over the last and, few years. Well, last year. yeah, some last year, some right, and then I'll just like put more time into those. Fair enough. That's so, you, yeah. so you don't want to ruin your Karumja account because I'm thinking maybe no. like you edit a bridge over to an island and you just have it no. slowly. <laughs> over the next part you know <laughs> be like the uh, pokemon elite islands or whatever bro i'd watch that i'd watch mm -hmm. that dude uh, i know Vera's trying to be geo guesser number one in the world geo guesser what, what you don't know I like, the, I like the game. yeah you don't know oh. geo guesser. Nah, wait no, is that no, that no. anime game no <laughs> no <laughs> I, I know, if, it was, if it was like that anime game that's paid to win i've Geography seen people play game. it no, Yo. you're talking about Genshin Impact, but no, GeoGuessr is like Google Earth type of shit. <laughs> you oh, guess that like game! Yeah, I, you see uh, location and you have to guess I've where you are. I've seen Verve play in that, yeah. Yeah, that or Grandmaster of Chess, right? That's like the ultimate mm -hmm. play. Uh, Rapesy, oh. Rapesy sucks at chess. So we should have that. a chess competition because me and Mintus Mad Cal. All right. The only time um, he beat um, me was when I was absolutely like blackout yeah, drunk yeah, so uh, i don't I I never, to show yeah, that shit. Yeah, i definitely was sober yeah yeah i was super sober too yeah nah. easy wins all right and rice i was the rice recommended me uh jujitsu kaisen the anime oh man yeah mm. it's definitely goat right now mm. yeah, i need another one though do you watch anime verf at all i do you weave it up What's your favorite, man? Uh, you I'm not watching that much uh, nowadays, but I'm watching uh, Attack on Titan with Re every week. Oh, um, I'm watching Promise Neverland right now and Kaiser. Is there season well. two for Promise? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't spoil it. I got to watch it. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I, I don't get that advertised on Netflix. What do you think of Attack on Titan, man? Oh, it's. By the way, please, it's like no spicy. spoilers on the last episode. Sorry, I've not watched it yet. It's spicy. <laughs> yeah, yeah now we're on the uh, off topic stuff now we're just kind of talk about a bit of everything right, i just thought i'd tell him i like i mean well, if you have any questions shoot my way i don't before mind we, we just do yeah. it everything right <laughs> before yeah. we go off onto this epic tangent do we have tangent. any more questions left for verf rice you said that you had a couple that you wanted to ask well i mean i, I already did ask a few so okay yeah i mean do you want a few more because i can throw you throw you a nice one i really don't mind just go yeah. for it yeah, I guess, um, yeah, you can kind of, it'd be nice to give us a, a, a rough summary of kind of like how your account progressed, you know, since since the beginning, right? If you if you want. Right. Just because you can't really do that on your final yeah, episode. For, for people I don't know, I guess, yeah. be, like, so the account is three years old, but the Inferno wasn't a goal until the until after the first year, which is probably interesting to know. Why yeah. is what was the original because, goal? Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I kind of made the account for fun. Back back when uh, I made it, 
working on my graduation project and I really wanted just something fun to do in game. And I just, I, I, I decided to do that. Uh, and at the first year, I just kind of just grinded stuff. I, I went for fire cape and obi armor, right? Basically like the those types of goals. And I kind of didn't really think I was going to do the Inferno because, uh, because of the gear limitations. But then uh, a year later after making the account, uh, a, the teasing stick spawn became a thing in Karamja. And because of that teasing stick... Yo, didn't I, you suggest it? Yeah, I, I suggested it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then they introduced, they put it in Karamja, yes. But because yeah. of that, I was like able to do uh, Hunter for Lockiums and I could do all the jewelry grinds. And I suddenly had like a lot of options for gear. And then I started brainstorming with all the implings. And I was like, oh shit, I can do the Inferno. So that, that I mean... that. Basically, that's how uh, the grind, the goal evolved, right? And then I just, I made it like a list for myself with all the necessary items and skills I had to get, and I went basically down the list until, well, for like three years, and then and then I started learning the Inferno. So, but like when I first like thought about the idea of doing the Inferno, I I had like very little uh, knowledge. Well, I didn't have too much knowledge about the Inferno, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do the Inferno, but I I mean I wasn't really sure what I was gonna face back then because it's it was a lot uh more of a struggle than I thought back then. So. Oh man, hey dude, listen, you should have reached out to me. I don't know if you guys were uh you know aware of this, <laughs> but I was the fifteenth Infernal Cape in game. By the yeah, way, just saying. Always brags about it when they can. Yeah, oh, shit. it's my biggest oh, account, no. dude. But do you know what the funny thing is? I fucking brute forced that shit. I was doing, <laughs> mate. I was doing Infernal runs when it first came out, yeah. like. 12 16 Everybody hours a day did, it was did. it was I mean, awful mate i mean that's still pretty impressive because there wasn't too much brag about mine dude i was like the 10th iron man to get the inferno cape pug <laughs> i was the 14th yeah. person in the world like, so, there, right? there wasn't too much about, like timers and sets and everything like yeah. that i used right so that's pretty yeah. cool no it, dude honestly man it's so impressive i'm just looking at your character right now and it's just yeah. like black dehyde zami koi ring crossbow snakeskin boots i'm just like jesus christ man like well, fair yeah. play fair play dude i wouldn't even know where to <laughs> start like where'd you get purple some grams or you go harpy bugs or something like i don't know i'd have to you'd have to do so much research no, i think it's implings my, my guess I, is imp I did, um brimhaven agility arena for snapdragons uh, 10 tickets each so oh, 10 wait, minutes no. 10 minutes per three dose restore and I cut uh, teak trees for bird nests and made brews. And yeah. do you have the pirate's hook? No. <laughs> oh well, you've not completed the account. I'm afraid to say, mate. You need to get that uh, thing. Yo. The Dude, hook goes along with the infernal cape, like bro. So Dude, I did 99 agility in that, that shithole, and then people are like, "No, you are not done." Yeah, yeah mention, <laughs> mention, mention uh, uh, to us your 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 kind of iconic grinds towards the cape. You know, okay. like the gorax yeah. and stuff, you know. Um. So at the start of the account, before like the Inferno Cape, it was the Fire Cape and Obi Armor, which took a fair bit of time. And the the biggest grinds back then were the lamping grinds, because I had to lamp 15 mining, which actually took like weeks um, from level one. Uh, and then I had to lamp 33 Slayer for Happy Bug Swarms. That was a pretty big grind. Uh, and lamping 27 Hunting. Dude, uh, I need to I, I need to really understand something real quick. I need to pick your brain, man. Okay. Okay. Like how you said you wanted to do something that was fun. You had to get fifty <laughs> mining that I took weeks that took weeks to get. Was the temptation not to just like hone telly to Lumbridge, oh, mine like no. ten iron ore? Just yeah, was that not just in your head? Like Mate, what, what kind of men what kind of mentality do you have? Like like, Dude, you got you got a very weird definition of fun, my yo, friend. I can explain this. <laughs> you played as an ultimate army before making this. It's like, how do you explain this? So it was like, already twisted. I want to know the mentality, man, because I'm trying to understand that. Right, I'm just okay, like, so, you know. Okay, okay. I have a good, I have a good, I have a good uh, example. So when you play Trailblazing or Twisted League, right, and you yeah. got those simple ass items like. You got like a rune scimitar or something really simple, but it had such a big impact on the account. Yeah. And you were super happy about such simple items, right? Or levels. Did did that I'm sure you got that feeling when you play like Trailblazer, right? Or oh I did, man. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's yeah. how I feel that's how I felt with the Kremlin account, but it's a bit more extreme because everything took longer. But it's the same thing. Kind yeah. of. 
<laughs> no, I, 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 I get that. I just, I, I think it's because in my head, it's like, wow, the account is restricted by you, but not by the like, rest of the game. Is, it's like you have that option to telly to Lumbridge if you wanted to, but instead you chose right. to do lamps, which is hell of respectable. But like, I think yeah. a lot of people would look at that and just be like, man, I'm just going to oh, go no, mine in Lumbridge you're, you're, for 10 minutes. Actually, you're absolutely right because there's like, I think a total of 30 Karamja locked accounts made over the years. And uh, Karamja only, which is like the original Karamja only account, he's an Iron Man that has been playing Karamja only for over five years. He Damn. has kept track of like all the Karamja accounts and a lot of them just cheat the mining. So you're absolutely, like, you're not like wrong there at all. Like, yeah, people, people, love, people love taking shortcuts. Yeah. <laughs> That's, but that's the thing is, it's hard to hold back. Like 15 mining, behind 15 mining, I was able to do the Karamja diary for the gloves. And that was kind of a big deal on the account. So it was, it. I mean, it took long, but it was really rewarding, right? So, and it, I mean, I didn't mind waiting. I was working on other stuff and I was passively doing the lamping. So. Yeah, what was next then? So uh, after Hunt, like after I finished lamping Hunter, I did the Grak. 99 hunter from at the grad grind that's probably the highest grind i did on the account the most tedious one how long uh, that took two months i think oh. for like three four hundred hours of doing grad <laughs> um, like <laughs> yeah i streamed like i would say like 80 percent of that grind yeah do not go insane <laughs> Man, the chat really helps, doesn't it, when you're doing TV oh, yeah, shit. No, they, yeah. they, they make oh, the time yeah. fly by, man. Like, exactly. if you're talking to your chat and, like, you're just interacting with them, even if you're just yeah. stood there doing the same thing all day, it's like, time just flies by. Right. It's nice. But I was it so, is... like, the reason why I was so motivated to doing that is because of the Luckyums, like I explained earlier, because I had such a good... It's not, like, Luckyums were so exciting because it's basically doing clue scrolls. You just catch an imp and you don't know what item you get. And on an account like that, you can get any item from yeah. like clue scrolls and so many items who could have such a big impact which i really liked uh on Man, the imagine if you got a, what, what if you got a like, third age bow would you have used it two. oh hell yeah dude oh, it would be that would it, have would been be, it would be best in slot like healers and stuff it, it's actually really strong it's yeah, like I'm msb with dragon arrows <laughs> yeah, yeah that's so. right isn't it it's i was just i'm trying to think the stats on that thing it, it's like it's not it, as yeah. good as it's not so as good as stats every... as a dark bow, but it's better than an MSB, right? Yeah, at Lucky, Lucky M can get you any clue. Anything, anything. Yeah. I, I was just thinking hards for some reason. I oh mean, it's God. like next to impossible to get it, but, you know, it's possible. Can you imagine you get like a third age axe, just as good as rune. <laughs> like, yeah, all right. <laughs> that would, that would be like, so cool, man, if you, if you managed to get a third age bow, that would be an epic. Yeah. Yeah, third age. Uh, the, let me think, the re most rare item, if you're curious, like some of the really cool items I got from Lucky M's on that account were, um well, the, I got a Fury Ornament Kit, which I think is still the, the coolest item I got because it was like the only ornament kit I was you actually using. <laughs> yeah. So like I got I put that on my Fury. So that was pretty cool. Uh I got I got a couple of cool uniques as well. Like I got so I got all medium clue boots except ranger boots and climbing boots G, which I think was pretty interesting. Like I got manacles, wizard boots, and sandals from just lucky ends. <laughs> That's kind of insane. <laughs> It's so yeah, lock games are actually pretty decent. Like if you catch enough, like you you get you get hello uniques from them. Yeah, I've got a tinder box and I think I got one purple sweet. So I don't I don't know, man. Maybe not me. I, I man, I've never caught one before. I, I don't see like, dude. That was like the I would say the my most exciting goal. And then there were a few big goals like getting ninety nine range and defense, like maxing out the stats for Inferno, pretty important. But that was pretty standard stuff, like just killing Harpy Bug Swarms all day. Uh, and uh, I AFK Tazar Monsters for ranged. And then I did 99 Agility for the cape. And I actually used the Agility cape perk during Zuck. So that's why I got the cape. So a lot of people were wondering why I would spend so much time on like 99 Agility. But it was actually used in the Inferno. And uh, also the increased run region naturally. Wait, too. wait the, ca the right, cape yeah. was... Sorry, I'm I don't uh, know what the cape does. What what does the ability the, have? The agility cape perk gives you a uh, one minute stamina effect uh, oh. for free, and it regens your run energy from zero to one hundred. How often can you use that then? Uh, just once, but it's pretty big during the Zuck fight. Like one hundred. So that, that's the entire Zuck fight covered. I'm guessing, right? Well, I had a stamina potion as well, but 
it was kind of helpful because Zuck was the Zuck fight uh, took a total of thirty two minutes. Wait, so. wait, wait! How did you get a stamina potion? In I knew you were gonna ask that. Good I was question. gonna ask that too. <laughs> so I know. I'm gonna. You, can, you can get a torso. No, you can get two noted torsos from a nature imp. Oh, Doctor Heckle. Uh, yeah, and then give it to Doctor Jack when you get a stamina. Jack or not Heckle, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh only, like it, you know what I like about the Kremlin Locked account? Everything just so happened to work because, like, Important. for example, if <laughs> the Brimhaven dungeon, like the Brimhaven agility ticket rewards did not have snapdragons and toad flex, I would not be able to get restores and brews. And that's like the most important thing for like in my inventory for the inferno. Right. I have a right. I have a real big question for you, Verf. Okay. How much how much of the entire series was okay pure luck and slash going with a whim versus having like a rice cup excel spreadsheet with like i must run around <laughs> with a guam leaf in my inventory at all times in case i get this random event like how much of it was really like you know properly calculated versus how much of it was just like oh there's jekyll oh shit if i had a guam i could probably get myself a nice pot from that um I would say, well, the first year I kind of just winged it and just kind of did whatever I really wanted to do because I didn't have a, like the Inferno wasn't my goal, right? So I kind of just did whatever. I did like Fire Cape and then it was like, eh, I'll start grinding Obi. Um, so I kind of just like did whatever at that point. But once I knew the Inferno was possible, I basically made a list for myself and I started working down the list in the most efficient like order. Uh, and just like on, on ultimate accounts, you often do something for like, a long time before you move on to the next skill yeah so I, I i guess i did kind of carefully plan like two-thirds of the account roughly for, okay to get to the inferno so that's well that's yeah. well impressive man like I, I i did it i had no idea that that npc could give staminas i had no clue yeah it's pretty cool yeah but yeah and then the last the last uh, big goal was uh getting 83 no, not 83. 81 Herblor from uh, killing green brutal victims for Sarah Bruce. Oh, I didn't even think about the herb. Oh. Yep. <laughs> that took 750 hours. Oh, God, dude. Man. I mean, yeah. to be well, honest with you, like the question I asked previously, which was like the mentality of going into something like this, I guess it's something that I don't understand because, I mean, you've, you, I, I barely touched Iron Man. I have a hardcore mm -hmm. Iron Man that I've... I don't know how many hours I've put into it. It's it's real basic, you know? But, like, you played Ultimate Iron Man, which is, like, right. completely disconnected. Like, you have no reason to go to a bank. I mean, I think there's a few exceptions, but I I, I don't know. I just... I don't fully understand I mean, that mentality, I guess. The Ultimate Iron I Man mean, life. Yes, but the Kremlin was a completely different experience, though, because I didn't have, like, loot bags or suiciding. Like, I just had my inventory. So it was completely basics, like Ultimate Iron Man basics, right? Yeah. But the reason I was so motivated to do all of it is because I really wanted to get to the Inferno and complete it and show people it was possible. It is possible, right? That was my whole motivation throughout the whole series. I mean, it, dude, it's the coolest go oh. ever. It's like I've completely castrated myself off from the rest of the <laughs> fucking game. That's and it's word. like I'm on the shittest part of the game where there's fucking nothing but things that poison you and fucking uh, bug swarms, and I'm gonna go get the best cape in game that half swarm. of the more than half of the game can do. It's like half the people that have the cape have bought the cape. I'm gonna do this shit. I think it's so cool. It's like you know you you've basically like you've got Excalibur right there, but in cape form. It's it's well <laughs> impressive, man. It's really cool. I I just wish there was um. Like obviously, I know that the account's pretty much come to an end now, and aside from mm -hmm. logging in on it, and like you're obviously going to have the feeling of the accomplishment, it'd be really cool if there was like some actual way to showcase that accomplishment. Like, bro, I would sign yes to a petition saying put a verse statue somewhere in Karamja. Oh. Why the fuck not? <laughs> That'd be cool as hell, man. I'd totally Shooting say out yes of the to volcano, that. bro. Just like, dude, I've like, had people say that, but like the thing is, the this the world challenge. I did it for myself. So, like, I don't need all that, like, praising and stuff, you know? But we want to do it, bro. We want, want to do it, I just want it, a man. statue popping out the volcano. I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, so, maybe I could, maybe the, there's a chance that I might win a Golden Gnome if, like, the final video or something. Maybe oh, something, mate, if you, know? you don't, if you don't win That'd a Golden cool. Gnome, bro, we're all going to boo. <laughs> Regardless of who it is. <laughs> Boom. It's the time the one time I win, even though it's impossible. I'm just sitting up there. Yeah, I know. I made like one guide. 
Like, get the fuck off the stage, man. <laughs> uh, I dedicated nah, the verb, Dude, bro. you should, yeah. do you know what? It shouldn't even be a voting process. They should have a golden yeah. gnome for somebody that's done something extraordinary. And I think they, they do, definitely don't they? should be up there. Or something. Well, I mean, like, without it being, like, a, a competition of oh, who's going to advertise the most of their followers. Instead of being, like, yeah, us you're right, Jagex, yeah, yeah, you no, Verf, you've done very well. Here's something as a reward. Like, it, yeah. they definitely, like, they talk, like, while we're on the subject, like, the, the last few golden gnomes were basically a popularity contest, right? Yeah, well, it's yeah, basically it's who shouted nice. out because if you shout base. out your stuff, like people are yeah. more likely to vote for you because they know about it. Uh, but if you, I mean, like, like think think about it this way, right? Like most people don't even bother to go to the homepage to check updates. What makes yeah? What makes you think that normal players would actually just go out their way to vote, right? Unless you specifically. Tell yeah. them here's the link. Go and vote, and that and that's kind of like a skewed voting way because if yeah, if you just of. make videos and you don't shout it out, then you're not gonna make it in there at all because yeah, most people don't like, even know like, where to yeah. vote. In we could make our own golden gnomes on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. oh, I'll chip in five dollars. <laughs> yeah, basically, like to summarize it, like <laughs> it was a really cool journey, like this whole account and everything. But like, I'm really happy I'm done. <laughs> Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Also, it was getting really stressful at the end. If, like, I'd imagine. It, so <laughs> I'm just really happy it's done, and I think it will bring some good content with like the video and stuff. But like, I'm just happy I'm done, dude. <laughs> that's awesome. Well people, done, well some done. people don't understand that, but yeah, that's you basically know, I, how I yeah. how I feel right now. <laughs> I I get it. I get it. There's like there's things like with my series that I I've been doing my series now for like two years, mm. and I'm I'm slowly. Yeah, Breaks. So you have I, a series, dude. <laughs> slowly is it the silk stall the series and trailblazers or Mate, trailblazers the game sucks <laughs> but like i can i can feel it slowly like you know it's it's getting there now like it's almost over like i'm really close uh -huh. actually and it's like um, yeah th there's other it's things good. that i've wanted to do and there's things yeah, that i'm yeah. hesitant to do because i want to get this done because i i don't want to like i i don't know I, I just feel like I owe people that subscribe Dude, to me for the content. I tell you one thing to provide yeah. that content might, in a big way. I mm -hmm. tell you one thing, and it might really help you out. If you want to make other content while you have a, another series running, and I did this because I had the Kremlin, only the Kremlin thing running, right? And it was my main thing. I was like, I was the jungle guy, but I started just doing other content and other accounts, right? The ones I'm playing now. And I really didn't care about what people thought because I just really wanted to make different videos. People really appreciated it. People liked it. People just want content. You yeah. know, in fairness, if you want to make something else, just do it. Do it. In fairness, though, the things you made were pretty good. Different. I mean, <laughs> PvP, yeah. Iron Man, F2P. I mean, I mean some some of the stuff no one else would want to do, right? It's so. like unique builds, I guess. Unique accounts. Yeah. You, you got to make sure you, you do stuff, but you also got to understand who will watch kind of deal, Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Right, the yeah. risk and like, reward. Right, he's like, next day, experiment. upload the league. <laughs> yeah, yeah league no, no league, no league. Coming in. Silver no league. 2, bro. Stick to, <laughs> stick to RuneScape, most likely. No, yeah, don't, don't be afraid to experiment with RuneScape, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, I I, oh. I know. I, I probably I, I have an idea for a series of my my mind that I think oh, even if it didn't spoilers? do well, I would enjoy doing it. Um, mm. and I might start on it soon. I've kind of I've just been like thinking like when can I get the time to do this? Um, also, because I'm flat out with what I'm doing. Also, when I first introduced the idea of doing Karamja only, like. 25 to 30 percent told me like no fuck no don't do that it's gonna be boring <laughs> so i mean just do what you want to do because people can change their mind as well yeah, yeah i mean if true. you if you find it fun then what happens is your, your quality of editing and and like yeah, people the way see you the, your enthusiasm well, so. will be there so it's content boom yeah exactly yeah people see that you have fun when you do yeah no link like, though yeah, no link though because <laughs> yeah, no they won't understand they won't understand your fun Break, you know? see, they're like i'll watch your lead <laughs> Dude, any spoilers? I'm not gonna watch it. on that like new series. <laughs> he said, "But your if your ass." Any, any spoilers? Uh, I'm probably gonna <laughs> keep this one to myself. I'll be honest right. with you, because no. I think I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I'll get Don't it done me. relatively soon. But I think okay. it, it's actually something that I told Framed about um okay. back at the first room fest ah, i went you're to gonna tell framed but not us huh? <laughs> no, all right yeah, keep me a secret all i want right. to right, I'll, I'll tell you after the podcast like but, this. but yeah, 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 this, the this was like four or five years ago that i i've been oh, thinking really? about this idea really? yeah oh they have a lot of brewing brainstorming it, it's, it's been going for a long time yeah. but like i i think 
I, I will say this. It's to do with RuneScape 3, okay? And um, I, I think four or, five, four or five years ago, the community and support for RuneScape 3... Yeah, it was 3, not ready. It, just, it wasn't ready for it. Whereas, like, yeah. now you see, you know, Sick Nerd's gone over to RuneScape 3, Perp's playing it. I think there's a few yeah. other content creators. I mean, even Rice Cup's talking about playing it. Uh, I feel like Yo, I mean, that I've, time I've, is almost I was near. I there, bro, you know? You know? Max so, Force 3 Iron Man, bro. What I'll, t- I'll, tell you guys, <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you guys about the idea afterwards. I'd like to hear what you guys yeah. have to say. But I think okay. even if it didn't do well, it'd be something I'd like to do. And in all honesty, um, I've played RuneScape for a long time, man. I've played since, like, the really early 2000s, since I was a little kid. And I only ever stopped when RuneScape 3 came out for a few years, and then Old School came back yeah. out. And um, when I look back on my old videos, to be honest with you, like... I think the favorite, the, my most favorite video that I made was a sponsored video that I made on a game that I was paid to play, right? It was a game <laughs> called Arcage, not sponsored or anything like that. I rewatched that video like a month ago and I was like, damn, this is fucking great. I was like, I, I, I'm watching it and I'm like, this is like, you don't even need to understand the game to understand like what I'm experiencing. And I was like, dude, I really, I pat myself on the back. I was like, I did quite a good job on that. And it was just nice to see something different and explore like a, a different kind of universe, you know. I, I yeah. wouldn't mind doing something like that down the line and just like experiencing more MMOs. Yeah, you and might games be giving away stuff. too much now, you know. <laughs> something along those lines, but yeah. Uh, I'm excited yeah, for it. I probably will. Yeah, watch yeah, okay. It. No, I, I guess we're off tent. Uh, are we off topic now? Yeah. Are we uh, yeah. off topic? Yep. Yeah, right, yeah. How I, I about got, that I Pokemon got, Arceus uh, game? Wait, wait I got out? one last question, if I may, okay. regarding Verve yeah, and okay. his accomplishment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, so, I don't know how open you are with your stream, with you know your real life and stuff, but we know mm-hmm. that you live with your your misses, your Jeff, mm-hmm. your wife, yep. whatever you refer to her as. <laughs> so, what was what the was spice. her what was her reaction when you completed this goal? Because I'm sure it's oh. been you know the talk of the house for a long time. Yeah, I, I did mention, like, well, I mostly mentioned that, I, like, it was really stressful at times when I died. And that's mostly the thing that the things I mentioned. Like, I was really not having it anymore if that shit, you know. She knows what the Inferno is, roughly, that there's, there's 69 waves and shit, you know. She knows about it. Uh, she knows it's that like it's the Altari game. Like, I kind of explained in short <laughs> how the Karamja grind Inferno worked, right? That it was really slow, tedious, long prep time. But, like, when I... I, I just okay actually no this is actually a funny story because i um it was weekend so i did the inferno like four days ago now right yeah i did i did it on monday right and that weekend before monday i asked her should i do it this saturday and she was like no you should do it when i'm when i'm at work so i was like okay i mean if you're saying, <laughs> if you're saying that because she, she thought she might maybe like distract me or something so i was like oh, okay oh man like I was like, okay, maybe she's the like lucky like charm or something. So I was like, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it like Monday or Tuesday. Or and she's the it. bad luck, so she and needs then to. And I did away. it on Monday, right? And I completed it first try. And I told her like I I sent her a text. I was like, I fucking got it. I'm done. And she was like, I told you you would get it if I'm not at home. What would you do, man? Yeah, she was bad luck. <laughs> you're about to get the inferno, and your lady who knows this just pops around the corner butt naked do you think oh, that would uh, huh would that what? inhibit your zuck or would you just uh dude i would be 100 percent in zuck what do you mean <laughs> <laughs> yes sir oh, hey, no, dude, i'm gonna have to about. put that at the front of the podcast dude yes, like, that's gonna be please. the first clip <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Please, we got no time yeah, for the whole. Ver- Verf is gonna be Verf be like, bitch, go away, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Wednesday is over. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Like, hours, I did multiple times. I'm finally at Zuck. Nothing can fucking distract me. I'm doing this. Like, yeah. put him yeah. away. Get out of here. Just slap her cheeks away. Like, <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, man. yeah. Yeah, so that, happy. That, does she wait? Hold up. Didn't I swear? I think it was you. I saw a picture of. Was it? Did your girlfriend go to Runefest with you one year? Or am I thinking someone else? Yeah, yeah. Last Runefest that was. Yeah, yeah. Ah, so she kind of knows. She has an understanding of what Runescape is. She she's not oblivious or anything. Oh, I get it. Like I I did. We played like we made like an ultimate for her one. Like we did some like a few streams where we played on her ultimate. So she has like a rough. She's not. I mean, she doesn't know too much, but yeah, she she kind of knows what it is. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool, man. Does she watch your videos or no? No, <laughs> no. 
Do y'all see? Nah, no, not really. Did she watch Rakesies? Most definitely. No one well, does. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your videos are great, man. Hey, listen, the yeah. only reason I get like 40k views on my videos is because I refresh it 40k times. Just being honest. Mm. Just, just Maybe saying. I could do that. Hmm. Doosh, 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 doosh. For anyone out there Dude, wanting to be a I, loonkeeper. You know what's Dude, funny? I, I, very open, oh, like, what's that, sorry? I video like 20 times. For the, for the <laughs> Yeah, I you know, I always check my video too many times. I ain't gonna lie. I do you know I stopped. I actually I I completely like I don't know if I had like an epiphany. Um, well, it depends on how's it going. You know, if I feel like it's fe doing kind of bad, I I always check to see the progress. But if dude, it's chilling, I like don't look at it, mate. <laughs> it, 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 unless topic. unless it's been yeah, let, let's talk about that. Let's talk about views because views run the world of content creators, and it's quite a sad. I, I would go as far as saying in some cases it's it's like a fucking mental illness. Let's just say I'm it's on my not lows. pretty. <laughs> And there was a point in time, I think that when you first start off, and this was definitely the case for myself, I was mm. obsessed with checking oh, views. Yeah. Because I, it was yo, like, oh, hell yeah, dude. That, it's like, that dude, if, was... I, if these views aren't in, I'm going to be back working in the dude. fucking, I'm going to be driving those vans again. Do you know what I mean? Um, Actually, but, sorry, go ahead. Like, I don't know about you, but I was all about subscribers back in, like when I was younger and I did YouTube. Not so much about views. I thought the subscriber number was a big number. Yeah, I am. Um, I don't, my channel just kind of like, my channel was just like nothing and then just went to the oh, fucking man. moon. <laughs> it wasn't like a slow and steady. It was just like a nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, we're on the moon. That oh, was yeah, that was it. Yo, but, mine's um, the opposite. It's like this. It's like this. Yours is it might slow, go up yeah, a little bit, but then it'll be like yeah. this. It'll still hey, be dude, like this. You're, yeah. you're like a red <laughs> you're dwarf, like man. Star, you're a long lasting <laughs> slow burner. You're gonna yeah, I'm like government bonds, bro. It's so you're steady, but never like spikes. You're a 10 year. Um, <laughs> I'm a 10 year fucking bond dude. But like, I think yeah. it's an, we should actually talk about this because it's a really interesting question because um I don't really check my views anymore. I really don't ever I think right. it's a big part of it because I started streaming and uh I have just like a beyond generous community on stream. So it's like I don't really worry too much about YouTube now in a big way whereas before I'd be so stressed out about it like it was terrible and like I think what I usually do, I'll upload a video and then I'll check like in a day or two and I'll be like, oh yeah, it's doing okay. Be like, and that, that'd be it. And then the next time I upload a video, I'll be like, oh, that's how many views my last video got. Interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, but like, it, I don't for really me, check it that gonna, much. For me, it just depends on whether or not the video is meeting the ex my expectations or right. not. Because like at some point, I'm just like, okay, well, I think I've reached this level, right? You know, of like viewership or whatever you know statistics but then if the video is not doing that anymore i'm just like mm, okay maybe uh, i might need to change the title maybe i need to freshen up the thumbnail or something maybe i need to you know re reorganize my my thoughts for next video on edits you know yeah you I'm do like that checking it. But, but when it's doing good when it meets that level i'm just like uh, what you you showed me before that you changed a thumbnail mid upload or like after a few yeah. hours and suddenly the video spiked again so it can actually it like, can help but video. it's hit or miss man i ain't gonna lie it, it is hit it is hit or miss yeah, because really like sometimes it, a lot of it is due to just bad marketing and other times it's just like you know maybe people aren't as interested in the in the current t content you know it's hard, so it's kind of hard to tell sometimes where, which one is which, but well, that's that's when I look at the numbers more. What you about know? you, Mintus Mattis? You haven't chipped in. Mintus Mattis. Well, man, YouTube algorithm would kill me. I'd be sometimes doing fantastic. I'd always check uh -huh. daily views, weekly views, monthly views, monthly subs, and I'd be like, all right, should I put less ads, more ads? Should I upload Wednesday, Tuesday, Friday before the yeah. weekend? Days. Different time zones. I check different tags. Uh -huh. I get different Jeez. thumbnail artists. I almost burnt myself out, not even making content, but just trying to chase the views. And yeah. just recently, because if you do that, you're going to be very depressed because YouTube algorithm is one. Yeah, you got to watch every monster. It's I hate them. I hope they burn. But <laughs> but I realize, man, if you enjoy the content you make, pretty much what you want to do for those who are trying to make content doesn't have to be runes. It could be anything. If you're watching something on the daily watching games, financial videos, maybe vlogs. If you're watching, you're into that, make it. That's it. That's really it. Just make what you enjoy watching. And it usually works out. And if it doesn't work out, man, just keep <coughs> uploading, bro. Takes but time. Yeah. You don't want to chase something you don't want to do. You want to yeah. do what you want to watch. Yeah, like that's true. My, my, my was a hustler, dude. 
for the sure. thing with youtube that i <clears throat> think is like the most oppressive part is the fucking one to ten uh, like ranking system for for your videos like you upload a video and when it's yeah. on yeah, terms, you should get like look at fireworks everything in your dashboard right you get those dopamine things like oh my god my video is doing freaking good dude I and hate then that. and then you upload a video and you think the video is like that's kind of why i, I when i upload a video nowadays i kind of don't have expectations because if you have too high expectations and youtube like freaks you over with the like, algorithm and it's like yeah you 10 out of 10 and you see like minus 50 percent views like your audience is not clicking your video yeah. like well, shut up i don't care yeah, like, it's not yeah, hurt dude. you are of the time you put into your videos i mean that's why i don't want to do a time sensitive series because i feel like if that video didn't do well i wouldn't want to upload ever again yeah but i enjoy it so i don't i don't give a shit exactly i don't check that dance for yeah, it. Just, i do it I just look at the analytics for that specific video, but I never actually go on the actual dashboard because I don't want to see the one in 10. Yeah. I, I, mean, I, I, I like it. Sure. It's, I, it's kind of, like you get that dopamine, man. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, no, you're you're gonna gonna it, you know, because cause then all you do is, because well, the thing is you could just always go for the views, but you got you to gotta do what you really enjoy though, you know? Like, it's more like a surprising factor for me. Like, after I upload my video, I've already did my video. I already uploaded my video. I'm happy. And then I kind of just see the result. But if it's good, you feel good. If it's bad, then you're kind of like, okay, maybe it wasn't. I mean, you know, maybe it didn't do as well as I expected. But yeah. I don't know. Some For some people, it can really affect. Like, it's important to look at data. But you don't want to, like, be overly stimulated by the numbers, though. Because yeah. no, that exactly. lead you to just trying to make yeah. videos for views rather than videos that you yeah. want to make. Yeah. That that's mm -hmm. literally the reason why I stopped looking at that stuff. I I just look it, as long as the views are kind of close to what the last video was on, that's good enough for me. Because you know I feel like every YouTuber has been in that position where they look at their views. Because for the viewers that don't or haven't been in a position of creating content, views unfortunately and very sadly they they rule the online social media if you're getting views you have opportunities you're getting monetization life's good basically is what i'm saying and yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. just for any stuff. just for anybody <laughs> listening in that's like kind of wondering why this is even important it's it's a big deal it's like if you don't have views you can't get sponsorships if you ain't got views you're not making money and if your channel's not growing it's probably dying you know that there's like a lot that's there's a lot that's tied to it right and there's a lot of reasons why people get so... It's definitely like a mental health thing, man. Like, the yeah, last time I looked... Your, your views. The reason I stopped looking, I when I uploaded uh, for Trailblazers, right? When I uploaded for Trailblazers, I was looking at that shit. And <laughs> it really oh, affected yeah. my it affected my mental health that? in, like, quite a bad way, man. I was in a terrible mood. All three Trailblazers. To the point where I was just like, I didn't want to play this game anymore. Like, it even though I was enjoying the game... Because the views were down, and because I people were like, I lost, I think I lost like a thousand subs when I was uploading like every three days, literally. I had to take a step back from it, man. I was like, I'm going back to my old content. I was like, I'm done with I, this. Yeah, but like, well. <laughs> stopping looking at the numbers, yeah, <laughs> stopping looking at the numbers, like, for me, it's done wonders, man. I don't worry about yeah. that now. It, it's like, as long as there are some people that enjoy watching my content and I'm enjoying making it and I'm doing live streaming as well, it's like, I don't care. It is what I, it is. I agree. I agree. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm I'm very happy with the fact that like you know that I can stream too, so that there's balance, you know. Yeah. yeah. In, in this world, for me, like I don't have to always worry. Like I don't have to worry as much if I'm not getting as much views. Yeah. But, like I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I still worry, but it's not like you know, it's not at that level where it's so concerning. You know. Yeah. I can always still like think back. I'm like, you know what? It's not too bad, and I can still sleep. You know. The so. thing is everyone is getting affected right now so if you're seeing like neg more negative numbers right now everyone is suffering for it like the algorithm for runescape is just crude right now since trailblazer pretty much you know just keep that in mind that's all you know as well 100 yeah. man yeah yep. i can't fan. believe that i didn't stream for like three years of doing this full time actually i think it's four years it was either three or four years that i just made youtube content I see when you hosted me that one random time <laughs> wait what's Long? that like years ago i was uh I, I think i was doing sarah or something no you were doing sarah i forgot what i was doing what i jumped to a host like years ago oh yeah oh yeah years ago 
yeah. Yeah. I because what I what I did is I I streamed to start with because I've done you I was doing YouTube since the early days i was making like old pk videos and stuff but i never really took it seriously and did commentary into old school and i think that was about five years ago now and that's when i started to sort of take it properly uh but i still streamed back then but then when i took my youtube to like you know i was like i want to try and actually do this full time i uh, i stopped streaming for like three years and I just look back at it now and I'm just like, how on fucking earth did I manage to do that? <laughs> Seriously, dude. But like the thing is, it was just so boring, dude. I just remember I'd be sat there, I'd just be playing RuneScape and I'd just be like watching something. And I know that sounds good in that and it's okay for like a day or two, but after a while, I don't know, I did it for three years, man. I love looking at my chat and there's some idiot saying something stupid and I'm like, you're dumb. What are you talking about? And like just having a laugh, do you know what I mean? Just having fun. Yeah. Like it, it's, it's a I beautiful mean, no thing, man. The thing you mentioned, like, just some people just don't. They, I mean, I know, for example, I, I talked to Solar Mission about this. He just doesn't want to stream because he just, it's not just, it's not for him, right? For some, some people just don't want to get into that shit. He's more of an introverted type of guy. That's what Probably I used like, to say. Well. You, have to, you have to talk all day, you have to deal with everything. Like, like you little webcam. You know, he's like, webcams for that neck, bro. Yeah, man, he got, he got to turn his webcam like, <laughs> Can you, imagine, you, you pop into the solo stream bro and like his webcam goes down to his inventory bro no, it's just like it's like a normal webcam but the entire time it's just like all you can see uh, and he's I, never love, gonna I love solo, I love solo mission man yeah but in reality we're just jealous of fucking soul missions big ass you know big ass yes <laughs> do, do you know i was actually dude i was thinking about this the other day right this is some shit that crossed my mind so I've been I've been lucky enough to be invited to quite a lot of Jagex <clears throat> tournaments and stuff. I remember a few of them. Solo Mission just he just showed up because he, he like rode his bike because he lived like an hour away or something oh, yeah, like that. True. And he's like true. not even a, he's not even invited to the event. And like I really liked him, so he just always chilled out and hung out and stuff. <laughs> and he wasn't even like invited. And now I'm like this dude is just this guy's like up and coming. Like he's gonna be yeah, one of the big yeah, dogs. Now, you know? He wasn't he's even invited now. to those. It's like I was invited. This guy wasn't. It's mad, man. There's a lot of up and coming like YouTubers. And also this year I've noticed a lot of like RuneScape YouTubers hitting like close to 100k subs. Oh yeah. yeah. I, I don't think 100k subs at this point. Uh, it's, it's still a very big accomplishment, but there's a lot of people that are going to get it and surpass it easily. Yeah. yeah. I and think, um, time. Dude, for me, it, it's, it's all about the journey, baby. You know, it's not about the destination. So, yeah, for sure. Because yeah. what do you do once you hit 100k? You gotta go for 200, and then you gotta go for you know like oh, See, more and more, right? Because it's never enough. So. That's why I'm being right. We never hit our goals, baby. That's what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. And I you did, you're still gonna fun, baby. <laughs> but like, I see for for me, like. Remember I wanted this. to reach. I wanted to reach 100k. Every YouTuber wants to reach 100k because it's like you know that grand thing where it's like you made it. But like, you get the I button. <laughs> yeah, uh, Verf, you've got 100k subs, aren't you? Nope. So you don't have 100k. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. What the fuck, bro? Suddenly flexing his 100k subs over here, boy. <laughs> Man, I, dude, I, that's crazy. What the fuck? How do you not have 100k subs, Verf? Man, I'm you need to sell about. yourself a bit more, man. You need to like sub straight and put your chest yeah, down and nah, be like really, subscribe. Really, like, up front. He's like, yo, like my videos or and like drop a sub. To me. That's Dude, but right, you your every video of you is like, what's up, guys? So can we get three thousand likes on like you start out with every video with like like oh also like I mean, it does work. Sure you, like before we get into the video. Make sure you subscribe. Like, hey, <laughs> <that was it. laughs> but like, I mean, uh, th the thing is, like, most of my subs came from the Kremlin series, and that just yeah. has slowed down. So, I mean, it yeah. makes sense. But... Hey, listen, exactly the same for me with the series I'm doing right now. I wanted to get 100k subs. Like, I always, in my head, I was always just like, always super. Like the same thing with the numbers. Like, constantly worried about it. Just like, oh, yeah. I need to make sure yeah. that I have security. I and I was like 100k sub base. I was like, I can, at 100k, I can take myself seriously. I can consider myself a content creator. Life is going to be good. We're going to be, you know, driving Ferraris with free blonde babes and shit. It's going to be banging. Okay. Yeah. So, it's, it's, I just dude, don't upload enough. Simple yeah. as that. I've what? learned something from Race C strategy, though, because like, 
the because seller. I that a majority, yeah, seller, <laughs> obviously, right? But like, uh, I, feel, I realize a majority of YouTube viewers, it's probably relevant to all games, but like, you know, let's just talk RuneScape, right? A majority of RuneScape viewers on YouTube are casual players. So, you know, what type of content you make is is obviously going to impact kind of like your your YouTube growth and stuff like that, right? So, are you about to flame me, Ray? Videos that are very, you know, <laughs> take uh, them out. It, it covers a wide range of players, right? Like casual players, yeah. Perfect. It fits How do you make up. a bond in one day in free to play? Oh, <laughs> it's huge, like, man. My are like, so, uh, yeah, you do this in four takes, and they're like, yo, what the fuck? What's this guy saying? And then, dude, those like very like, high level players. It's I a really, it's a really it's, good point you've just made because I think you're totally right. You've hit the nail on the head there because yeah. the progression of the account was, hey, it's not an Iron Man, it's a normal account. And I'm going to yeah. show you guys yeah. how to progress your account and make money. So there was a yeah. long period of time where I was just doing like those low, small little grinds, getting Barrett gloves, killing Zora, just little things that everybody can do. Everybody can kill Zora. Yep. If you can, you can. But like, um, I think you're totally right. And like, as it gets to the end game, it's like, you know, but I will say this, like when I started my series, I think I was at like 70, maybe 75k subs. And I had such a huge growth spurt from that series. Like within like the first 10 episodes, I went yeah, from I 75k to like 120k. And it finally got to a point, like, I think I'm at like 140,000 subs now or something like that. And it, it, it's all because of that. It was like a massive growth spurt just because I, I hit the nail on the head with something. And then it's yeah. just like, you know, those subs treacle. And, and I still have people that are constantly watching the series all the way from the start. And, you know, they come into my chat and stuff and they're just like, hey, just finish your, your series. Loved it, man. And all of this. And it's it's very humbling. Oh, dude, playlists are huge. I learned something from that, though, you know? Like, what you say? Like, playlists are huge. Like, the Kremja playlist, like the full Kremja series. I've always focused on, like, playlisting. And I think the Kremja playlist has like 1.5 million views or something. Damn, Damn like, boy! Like it works, it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My my main Iron Man has uh, almost two million, but it's yeah. old, it's old as fuck. So I mean, it doesn't matter. It it still gets views. So yeah, it works. Those playlists. <laughs> they work. Great. Yeah, dude. I've I've you know I've been friends with people in the past that have been like. When they found out I had a podcast, they're like, they're like, oh, dude, you do a podcast with fucking Rice Cup? I've watched all of his Iron Man videos. That guy's fucking sick. Thank you. Just like, yeah, 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 buddy. I, I want to add one more to it though, because like I realized that's you know that's just how how viewership is, right? So like you know stuff like PK and stuff like money making those hit so well with um with you know the general mass. So I was like, yo, you know, I can't always do like higher level pvm stuff because there's only so many high level pvmers right but what if i make stuff that attracts new players too right so you know with that in mind i realized hey i should probably try some other stuff so i'm gonna i'm working on like this big guide to like help get new people into pvm so i'm like you know what let me just make pvmers you know what i mean like yeah. i don't want to entertain pvmers i'm gonna i want to make pvmers and i think that'll like you know introduce like a big crowd right so that's I, like my my next initiative, you know. Dude, if, if I may, I think that would be a perfect perfect time to do that. Would be after the blowpipe gets nerfed. Just be is that <laughs> what, what you're about to say, man? It should be around the same time. I think right? Rice would be a phenomenal teacher. <laughs> Maybe not I mean, online. Man, so I'm curious. He already is. Still, I'm be curious. Yeah. No, go go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I have nothing to say. I don't know. I, well, I, so I, you said so, like you were talking about, like which viewers you attract but yeah karamja locked i'm the only one doing that pretty much who would i attract monkeys well, you attract like you know the crowd it's like a mixed crowd you know the people that like storytelling you know they, they want to watch you cry that's the people okay. yeah no yeah okay that's that's interesting that's the people that want to see like the, those artistic like crazy dumb grinds yeah, right they, that, yeah also there's that too there's also you like artistic or autistic like the you very unusual grinds, you know, people love that stuff too. Things that are unusual, uh, I, I should say, I forgot, I forgot to mention that. You know, stuff like PKing, money making, unusual. You know, those three are like, yeah, very, you know, very good sellers. For sure. Money, PP, but like these locked accounts, bro. Yeah, very unusual. It was a boom though, dude. In 2018, it was fucking booming. That's how when I got like crazy subs, like that period, that's when my channel grew the most. 
But well, I did, wasn't that honest, the, I, when that one settled started like because settled does his series after you did yours, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, I will say this: that is in no way to be taken away from what you've done at all in any way, shape, or form. But um, when settled uploaded his series, like that shit went viral beyond anything the RuneScape's ever seen. I, I oh, don't yeah, know okay. what that was about. I don't know if it was like the algorithm just picked him at random, or you know, obviously, and that's not taken away from his either. It was really fucking well done and some of the best yeah, content like, for I, sure. I noticed right when that happened, it's like all a lot of the content creators were shouting him out, even Bodhi and stuff. You know, they were all like kind of, you know, just instinctively just talking about it, and I think that kind of just led to like a new level of hype. You know, yeah. that kind of like lost boundaries. I think and it's because he, he did a new style of like editing where he did, he focused more on the storytelling and he put a lot more time into like the cinematics and stuff and everything. It just mm. spread like wildfire, you know? That's kind of how it all Definitely. happened. Yeah, be and he I has this really like, if you compare him with me, I don't, I don't like doing this, but like he has a way more like natural voice, like storytelling voice and stuff. Like I feel like people watch me more for the content instead of like my charisma. And he and he has, has that charisma. Firth, mm. mate, I think you're totally wrong, man. I think you're really hard. I don't know. I you, think you're really. People, uh, I, hey, you're weird no, about taking compliments. That, I know, but listen, you're really, you're, you're a really good guy, man. And I'm, listen, you get yeah. good views on Twitch. You got loads of people watching you, man. People fucking love you, dude. You know, people no, don't right. tune in because of your gameplay. I, I can't imagine there's a single person in your chat that tunes in because they're wondering what it's like killing fucking harpy bug swarms for 50 days. Yo, no one yo, gives a shit, dude. They're there for you. That's it. There's people there, right? It's not just like charisma and stuff. Because like, think about it. Like, you have fucking Minecraft people that gets millions of views, you know? That's what I was going to say. The Minecraft. So, yeah, it's what? about charisma. It's about like what, how you do your content, how you, you know, yeah. portray your content. Because there's acting, right? When you make a YouTube video, in a way, you kind of have to act. So some people are really good at acting. Mm -hmm. And then people make, like, certain types of content. Like, Minecraft, like, bro, you could all blow up just making Minecraft, right? It's just, like, yeah. it's not, you know, there's so many factors. Not I just mean, as a Dutch content Chris. creator doing, like, English videos and stuff, like, when I first started, like, doing old school videos compared to now, like, the improvement also brings more viewers, I feel. Because yeah, yeah, you've definitely improved. Like, I got roasted the hell out of like my commentary back in the day, dude. Like people just didn't wa <laughs> watch my videos because of how bad my English was. You know that. that <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, example. listen, mate. I'm so. fucking. I'm English. I'm British. I live in the Great Britain. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. the you United Kingdom. And my first videos are probably worse than yours, mate. Trust me. I can't even watch them back. I cringe, dude. <laughs> my my <laughs> speech is just so caveman and just God. You know, real bad. <laughs> really mm -hmm. bad people can go back and watch those videos but they cringe me out yeah, like it's, a, it's an easy trap to get like to get like so fixated on like views and like all thinking about comparing yourself if all this is like a really bad thing to do yeah oh, definitely sure. it's so, it's a really bad thing to do man yeah. it's really it's I mean, not it's not this healthy at all it really it's actually isn't like you know actually pretty interesting like it's not just for like the people watching that right now, like think about like RuneScape videos or something, but just anything. Like if you compare yourself with someone else in life, it's just that's kind of why Instagram is so bad because you see like all those fucking models and people on beaches and yeah. shit. It's like the perfect world, right? I think there is a healthy way to compare, and yeah, I've got like really big butt cheeks, and that's not normal. I mean, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> equals is a bad thing, but like comparing objectiveness, but that shit gets in your head, like in a bad way. The objectiveness of people can be a good thing. Like, for example, you know, you can, like, for me, I can compare, like, how does one person who may have more views than me get those views? You know, what, what is the objective things that they do that actually, you know, results in that? And, and how does that apply to me? You know, what yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I learn from that? You know, that's, yeah, that's like research, kind of. It's very hard to do because yeah. most people would just compare with their feelings. They're like, oh. Yeah. You know, he doesn't deserve this. You know, I put in more work. <laughs> put in more work. You're not, you're not comparing the details. You're not comparing the objective na nature of what they do, right? And what game yeah. are they playing? How are they editing? What? Do, how do they talk about it? How do they present? Like those are the things that you can compare to and like learn from it. So I try my best to kind of learn from that. You know? Yeah, there's I don't like, think there's anything wrong with um a bit of sorry. healthy competition as well. Like yeah, I, yeah. I feel like uh, a big part of me gaining so many subs. Was and I spoke to C Engineer about this uh, at Room First, one of the Room First, because uh, I won't say what he said because I don't think he ever disclosed it to his audience, so I won't. I can tell you guys afterwards. Sorry, I don't mean mm -hmm. to cut you boys watching, but um, secret. Basically, I said to him, I was like, you know, 
I, I love, I, I said to him, I said, I love the fact that you make content because this was at a point where our channels were kind of like head and head. And I was like, mm -hmm. you are my competition in a healthy way. I was like, I love your content, but it's like, I want to, I want to be further than you. I want to have more subs. Yeah. I want to be just like, you know, I was like, so I feel like I'm racing, even though now he's like a hundred K subs more than me. It was a nice, healthy competition. And it definitely motivated me to like do the best I could, you know? Right. Yeah. Like, I have to admit, like, when I, like, the first year, I think, of making videos, I was so fixated on sub counts and just comparing myself with, like, the other Ultimate Iron Man YouTubers, which were, like, settled and linked back then, and they were, like, way bigger than I mean. I was, like, looking, like, up to them and stuff. It was pretty funny. Like, times have changed, really. Because nowadays, I, I mean, I'm not gonna look at, like, other YouTube, YouTubers sub kind of be, like, oh, my God, like, I don't know. I, I'm not really, like, focus on that anymore right because all that stuff is very temporary you know well, yeah so, but it's also not like millions of subscribers but don't get views anymore you know dude it so, also like on, a, on like a spiritual level it doesn't mean shit man who gives a yeah, fuck no, if no, somebody's sure. got like a million subs like if you've got 100k subs and you're a good dude you're a nice person you know you're happy with how you are and stuff it's depends about, who yeah, you are i see mint making funny faces this man would probably sell his mum to get a million subs but everybody's different you know uh, what i mean you, want to hit for nah. another subs. <laughs> okay. you don't, you don't want to get me started on the spiritual and like the yeah yeah no nah, yeah. yeah. you know, yeah. a way to motivate myself to you know to just kind of i agree with everything everyone's just said man but i had to I take a little Dude, talk, man. i i'm gonna yeah. say this mate your sub count your views not always maybe in some situations it's not a reflection of who you are okay and it's like you know you just gotta be happy with yourself and do the best you can and provide the best okay. content you can and if you want more try harder simple as that yeah i mean it's just try what harder, do more like, you, know, <laughs> yeah. you gotta use it because like, I, I feel like everything comes with a middle ground to pay right like you, you you shouldn't you shouldn't be like oh numbers don't matter numbers also matter but but you have to use it in a way that is healthy for you, you know? Like for me, I just use it in a way so uh, that I can wake up and I look forward to working on my next project, you yeah, know? Yeah. That's kind of what I what I use it for, you know? Not not necessarily like, oh, I have to make sure that, you know, like I have to get, I have to meet this 10,000, you know, extra subscribers by next month. Like, no, not that kind of shit, you know? Just be like, one day, if I if I believe in my work, it, 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 it should happen, you know, it'll happen eventually. That's kind of, you know what I mean? Like finding the middle, middle ground. It's so hard. But a lot of yeah. people, you know, they go too extreme. They're like, oh, fuck viewer account. Or it'd be like, oh, I care. It's all about viewer account. But but what about in the middle? Where's the middle, guys? You know, you need you need the middle ground, right? Like, you need you, balance you need... is what you need. You need the best yeah, of both. Exactly. It's the hardest thing you know? to do. So I mean, it's, it is. So. It's hard. It is definitely hard. I, yeah, I can't, I I can't sit and pretend that I've mastered it by any means. Yeah, I yeah no, me neither. Me neither I, I try to get better every year, but I noticed a lot of people, they, they either die one extreme or the other extreme, but they never ever try to find the middle. So. I don't know if this is like a, a podcast topic, yeah. but I want to like, for like mostly Rakesy and Min, and, uh, Min because I, I talk to Rice Cup a lot, but what do you guys do like outside of streaming like do, or like any content creation? Like, do you how do you like balance your life basically from Good. doing this because you spend a lot of fucking time on this shit you know so do you want to go first minute or do you want me to i got um, my mind ready locks to go i'm down uh so i mean i used to not balance anything i used to go to bed 6 to 8 a.m every day wake up about 4 or 5 p.m start a stream try to pop a video out uh you know just always try to improve and i think for about four years yeah, dude. yeah I mean, you've been doing this for a long ass time right yeah like, like seven years yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I, 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 it's aloha stream that was years that's ago crazy like that's actually crazy yeah and i think i kind of ruined a little bit of my life i four years i think i pretty much only made content slept and i mean i guess watched a ton of shows but uh, <laughs> there was no balance and lately yeah. I'm getting that balance and kind of like how you guys talked about your well-being and focus on your own content. Don't worry about the numbers. Yeah, That's yeah. kind of what it took for me to get any sort of balance in my life. So lately, you know, I've been waking up earlier, trying to like, I'm walking one mile a day at least. You know, we got a treadmill. Yo, you know, what about the running shoes, man? I, I don't know where those went, actually. I think those are tossed. I, I lost them or something. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, I, you know, I've been getting into some stuff that uh, makes me excited when I wake up, right? Like investing, you know, like the whole GameStop <laughs> stuff. Uh, you know, I get right, all right. pumped. You know, I'm doing that Wall Street bet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm doing that every day now. I'm 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 just pumped see, to enjoy it. So yeah. that's good. There's nothing wrong with del- you know delving deep into something and working hard, but don't let it absolutely you. control your life, yeah. dude. Like I swear, man. All, all I all I did was wake up, talk to my chat. I love my chat. They kept me sane, <laughs> but it was it was four years of just really not even going outside. So yeah, and, yeah. Yourself, brother. it's hard yeah. to balance. I mean, that's uh, like with this whole thing, we can't say the word. I don't think we're getting flags, but with the lockdown of the world, it's Pandemic. like, you see, you see the memes where it's like gamers, nothing has changed. It's like uh-huh. nothing really has changed. I mean, th- there's been a few things for me. So here in the UK, <laughs> nothing has changed. <laughs> nothing, nothing really has changed dude like i'm gonna be honest yeah, man like i'm just i'm doing what i always do the only but thing I that's thought... changed is i can't see my family and friends yeah. which is uh which is fucking shite i'll be completely honest with you like i had not see my mates in ages i had not see my family in fucking ages either and that sucks that sucks big mm-hmm. time and i really have a lot of sympathy for people in the uk because I, I don't know what it's like in your countries but here bro like we ain't allowed to do shit man I'm allowed to go outside yeah. for a walk, but I can't meet up with people. I can't like, and go to the yeah. shops and get food. Everything's fucking closed, right? It's it's pretty tough. It's not a good time. Yeah. But um, I'm very fortunate because, firstly, I have the ability to have an income where I can sit in this room, okay? Which I'm very grateful for. And I'm also really grateful for my other half, my girlfriend, my waifu, because she keeps me sane, man. Like, in a big way, like, Every single day, you know, we'll play games together, like card games, board games, watch something on That's TV, we'll cook for each other. Uh, we go for walks every single week, like we go out for like a fucking six, seven mile walk or something. And um, that that's like the balance for me. Like, I just, I need to have that time. Like, I love playing games. Uh, and even just games itself, I don't just play RuneScape. I play other games. I play so many different games. At the moment, I'm playing Conqueror's Blade, and I've always played League of Legends. It's like, <laughs> usually the daytime for me, I stream, play RuneScape, and then in the evening, I just play other games. You know, that's what I do. Because if I play RuneScape all the time, and I've played for God knows how many years, probably kind of 20 years, I'm going to get so fucking burnt out, and it's not going to be pretty, and I've been there before. So it's like, I really balance everything. Spend time with the other half, spend time on right. my own playing other games, play runescape stream and so forth and uh usually in the mix i also see my my family and i always see my friends like that's that's been tough because i usually see my mates like every weekend like my friend like look i I literally have like a spare desk here this is his desk like (laughs) look at these look at these pokemon displays by the way discontinued thousand pounds each please hit me up rixybusinesses gmail.com but yeah this is his uh (laughs) this is the desk dude and like he yeah. usually comes around, we just play games like all weekends, and it's not even RuneScape. Like you don't even play RuneScape, we just play other games, and uh, see, that's 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 a good balance for me. So I don't get bored. It's like whenever I go and spend a day with either my friends, family, or my girlfriend, I always then I'm like I can't wait to get home and play RuneScape. Like that's how it works for me. It's like a really nice reset all of the time. I see. Interesting. <laughs> But yeah, walking's a big thing. By the way, what's it like over in uh forgive me. You said you're Dutch. The Netherlands. The Netherlands. Yeah, the Netherlands. What right. what's the lockdown like out there? Is it is it like the UK uh, or like we can go outside until like nine or something. Past nine we can't go outside. Uh we can do any like we can't really do anything, just shopping and like the the main stores are open, like the cosmetic and like supermarkets and shit. Right, so no restaurants, nothing. Uh, but like, from to be honest, for me, like the first year, I really didn't mind anything like what's going on because I was just doing my own thing. Like nothing changed for me. But dude, I miss traveling so bad because my like biggest break, like yearly, was like the thing I looked forward to the most every year while while doing this was traveling to, like traveling with my girlfriend, right? Yeah. So that yeah, that's the thing I miss the most. 
Definitely, but it's man. pretty like not much I can do here. Shameless, are you are like, you allowed everywhere. to go and see your friends and family, or is that not a thing? Very limited, but I I'm not too big of like family person. I guess I can go without seeing family for a long time, but like traveling and free time stuff, that's really hitting me for the yeah. most. So. Man, you I, I, do you go out? Do you go for walks with her? I don't, uh, know, if yeah, you we, I don't like, know if you live in a city or in like a rural area. What's the deal? Yeah, man? yeah, we 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 go for walks and stuff and uh, like watch TV. Like lately, I've like been putting a, like a lot more like because I, I used to just not stop. Like I used to wake up, I play all day, I eat, play all day, like all evening, and go to bed. And I do that for weeks, and I like I don't mind it. It's fine, but I really need to take breaks. Not because I will burn out, but but because it's more healthy, right? So I've just been spending more time like watching TV and just going for walks and stuff. So yeah, <laughs> that's hey, sorry. Yeah, just the group chat. It's like I gotta go, boys. I'm like, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we haven't even started talking about space and Pokemon yet. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just you know, you gotta, smart back, bro. you gotta get smart man for that hey, shit. <laughs> hey, it's it's all good. Anyways. Shall we wrap it up, boys? We've been talking now yeah. for like an, an hour and a half or so. And uh, yeah, also, boys, people watching the, st the stream, people watching the YouTube video, the podcast, stay safe. I hope you guys are doing well. And, uh, you know, these are hard times. And if you're feeling lonely, just reach out to people. Seriously. You got to yeah, talk to people, streams. man. You got to you gotta do stuff that's healthy for the mind in times like this. You really do. Whether that's walking, talking yeah, while to we're somebody. On the topic. Yeah, while we're on that topic. It's a good uh, ending, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's okay. a good way to wrap the uh, the podcast up for sure. Yeah, man, honestly, you know, we're having our streams, honestly, we all stream, so yeah, yeah, it's a good way to kind of pass the time sometimes if you're a little bored. True. It's kind of oh, like a yeah. watch rolls. Call, call me a sellout. Yeah, no, you definitely <laughs> should. You definitely <laughs> should. Selling, I'm selling all of us out. You know? oh. We 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 should be. I don't know why we haven't made like a stream team or something, <laughs> boys. We should all be in a stream or, team together. Or, I did. Didn't I invite you guys to the? That, that was yeah, a like, squad. Sometimes, you know. Mm -hmm. like, you Bruh, know. Man, I've been, I'm, man, I've been streaming like every day for the last year. Dude, have, you know. They, they, they have like the the perfect like variety. We have we have Minty PK boy. We have Rakey the the GP make normie account boy. We have Rice <laughs> Cup the like Iron Man Raid guy, and I'm like the 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 ultimate <laughs> dude. You know. You got you got everything. Everything right. Yeah, you we know, enough choices. What could you want? Hey, there should, listen, more. link of this video, all of our Twitches are down there. Drop a follow if you haven't done so already. And yeah, if you need something to do to pass the time, come and join our chats and chill out. I'm down. I'm down, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like good time, man. Rightio. Well, uh, dude, Verf, uh, big congrats on the Infernal Game. Promote, promote the you. channel, please. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming on. And also, boys, if you are... Listen, I'm sure there's not a single person that's watching the podcast at this point. Most people probably clicked off two hours gotta ago. got to be one single person. One guy. Hey, I, like, I, I don't know, mate. Most people one probably contract. clicked off. Let's the word two hours ago. I... They, they were gone, man. Two hours ago. So if you are watching the podcast... At this point, word. give him a word. What word yeah, like make him like, co like comment like banana or something. I don't know, something tiny. Oh, yeah, Karamja, Karamja. No, I, I got a better one. Karamja, okay. that's a good one. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was <laughs> dude, I was gonna see, I was gonna say ET because every time I look at fucking rice with that hoodie on, it just reminds me of ET, man. ET or Karamja, dude, boy, let us know. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed. Karamja Have a good day. Forever. Hey, boys. Have a good day. Uh,